Okay, guys, before we begin our activities for today, I already explained the life cycle of a butterfly. We're going to review the shapes. The shapes, okay? We're going to review the shapes so you can at home repeat with me and your mother what shapes Miss Gabby is going to show you, okay? The first shape we have, it has four corners. It's color pink, okay? Her arms are legs and color green. He's wearing a blue cap and it's a triangle. Oh, no, Miss Gabby is not a triangle. I know, it's a round circle. No, it's not a round circle. It's a square. We have a square, guys, okay? Beautiful square. Repeat with me, square. Square, okay? The second shape we have, it's beautiful, I love it, it's one of my favorites, it's color red, and it sounds boom boom, boom boom, boom boom. Is it a star? Mm -mm. Let me hear you, what is it? A beautiful red heart. It's a heart. The second shape, it's a heart, okay? So we have a square and a heart. Okay, the third shape, it also has four corners. It's color purple. Her arms are legs and color orange and a black hat. And it's a rectangle. Everybody repeat with me rectangle okay rectangle then we have this is very easy i know guys you have a lot of objects that has this shape similar at your house it's around and round the circle goes everybody with your finger at your house round and round the circle goes Round and round the circle goes. What color is the color? Is the circle, guys? What color? Is it pink? The circle? Mm -mm. Is it black? No. I know it's green. We have a green circle. No, Miss Gabby. This is a blue circle and it's wearing glasses. A blue, blue, blue circle. Okay? Very good. Then we have, this is very easy, again, one of my favorites because they come out every night, salen en la noche, and they shine a lot. It's a star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky very good guys you can sing it out at your house and it's a star a yellow bright star very good then we have this shape has three corners one two three and it's like a pizza shape it's a green triangle. Look at his happy face. It's very happy. And it's a green triangle. Very good, guys. Repeat with me. Triangle. Very good. And then we have, finally, it's not like a circle. It's like an egg, an egg shape. It's an oval. Guys, repeat with me. Oval. What color is that oval, guys? Is it purple? Mm -mm. Is it white? Mm -mm. It's an orange oval. And you can see it's like in the form of an egg, in form of a huevito oval. And that oval is singing and hearing music with his earphones. Oval. Very good. So let's repeat all together one by one together with me. Oval, star, heart, square, rectangle, circle, triangle, 
triangle and I'm missing one more. Sorry, guys. I have the diamond. It has four corners and it's a diamond. You can do it with your fingers. A diamond, guys. Okay. What color is the diamond? Blue. Blue as the sky. It's a diamond. Okay, guys. So, after we finish reviewing the shapes, you can go to your iPad or to your Notion book, Challenge 7, it's a new challenge, and go to Session 1, a la Session 1, on page 1 is the first activity. Guys, before you begin with this challenge, there are two videos, okay? One I posted, it's a link. Es un link que los va a llevar a YouTube, al cuento de The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Okay, you can ask your mother to put it. And in Notion, in session two, there is a mini short story and it's called The Inchworm, okay? Igor The Inchworm. You can go and look it and it's about the same thing that I, that I already explained about an inchworm or a caterpillar, okay? Very good. Okay, now, the three activities for today are very easy and very fun to do. The first one is in session one of this challenge seven. You're going to color in your notion book the picture of the butterfly, okay? And the caterpillar, very pretty with different colors with paint or with watercolors, si tienen acuarelas en su casa, and as well, you can decorate it, lo pueden decorar con glitter, con clay, con plastilina, con beans, frijolitos, whatever material you have at your house, you can use it to decorate it, okay? That's the first activity of the notion today. The second activity is, in different mason jars, or plastic bottles or containers that you have at your house con diferentes contenedores que tengan en su casa pueden ser mason jars, water bottles, eh, botes de agua que ya no usen, este botes de mayonesa, topperwares redondos. You're going to ask mommy, le van a pedir a mommy que lo rellene cada uno con diferente material. A uno le puede poner water y hasta cierta distancia, no llenarlo todo, a la mitad o un poquito menos. Al otro bote que tenga mami en casa de plástico le puede poner frijolitos. She can fill it all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. Lo puede llenar o hasta arriba o hasta abajo. In another bottle, en otro bote que ya no usen en un vaso de plástico o en un vaso de, en un bote de mayonesa que tengan vacío. In a medio plastic bottle. Van a poner otra cosa, you're going to fill it up with something else, with pasta or with sand, inclusive pueden usar arena o pasta de letritas, igual lo van a llenar a diferente cantidad que los otros dos. Why are you going to do this? ¿Por qué van a hacer esto? Porque van a medir cuánta cantidad de cosas tiene cada bote, a lo mejor el primero va a tener más agua, que el segundo va a tener menos cantidad de frijoles y el tercero va a tener a lo mejor hasta la mitad de pasta. And your mommy, su mami les va a preguntar, which bottle has more things in it? ¿Qué bote tiene más cosas adentro de él? So you're going to look at the bottles and you're going to say this one. And then your mom is going to ask, what bottle contains less material inside? ¿Qué bote tiene menos cantidad de material adentro. Pues van a checar y a la mejor mami rellenó el de arena un poquito menos, nada más hasta abajo. Y van a decir, este mami. Y luego su mami le va a decir, ¿y qué bote tiene más o menos a la mitad? All the way to the middle, half of it, half of it. ¿Qué tiene hasta la mitad? Pues a lo mejor el bote de mayonesa vacío lo rellenó hasta la mitad con pasta, sopita de letras. Y van a decir, este mami, ¿ok? So that's why you need different bottles, plastic bottles, por eso necesitan diferentes botes vacíos de plástico y los van a rellenar con diferentes cosas para que puedan medir cuál tiene más, which one has more, which one has less, or which one has half, o cuál tiene hasta la mitad, ¿ok? 
That's the second activity from Notion. And the third activity that you're going to do today is from your folder on the printed material that we sent home, you're going to do these drawings, letters or numbers, okay? It's very easy, it's a rainbow. Remember guys to always put your name at the top so you can practice writing your name, okay? Write it on your own, however you can. Como puedan a su manera, you write always your name at the top of the drawings, okay? And we have a rainbow. On one cloud it says letters and on the other cloud it says numbers. And underneath we have two boxes, two rectangles that are empty. And as you can see, on the bottom we have numbers and letters mixed up. Abajo tenemos números y letras todos revueltos. What material are you going to need for this drawing? You're going to need scissors. You're going to need print and you need, you need crayons. Van a necesitar tijeras, print y crayons, okay? Go for them. Remember, guys, that I told you to prepare a little box with your school supplies. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije que tuvieran una cajita de plástico, un estuche bien bonito con todo el material del colegio que necesitaban para que mami se las preparara en vacaciones? I hope you have it. Espero que ya la tengan lista. And in that box, en esa cajita de útiles que ya varios me enseñaron que tienen, you're going to have, van a tener scissors, print, markers, crayons, paintbrush, van a tener todo el material que necesiten para que podamos trabajar bien. Ok, once you have your box ready, cuando ya tengan todos sus materiales listos en su cajita, first, you're going to color the rainbow. Primero vamos a colorear. The rainbow first, using the rainbow colors. The clouds. You can even color the boy. And color the letters and the squares. Van a pintar todas las letritas y los números one by one, una por una. Traten de no pintarlos muy oscuros. Try not to use dark colors so you can see if it's a number or a letter. Traten de usar el color negro o el café porque luego no van a poder ver si es un number o una letter. After you finish coloring, después de pintar, you're going to use your scissors and cut by the line por la rayita with your scissors each number and each letter, cada número y cada letrita. And you're going to paste it, ya que lo hayan cortado, lo van a pegar, if it's a number, on the number box. And if it's a letter, like this letter F, on the letter box. Ok, los van a poner todos así en su mesita y se van a fijar. Si es un number, number 6, number 7, number 3, number 2, on the number box. Van a ir pegados ahí los numbers. And if it's a letter, letter D, letter B, letter F, P, letter A, H on the letter box, okay? If you don't remember or if you don't know how to identify them, ask for your mother's help. Si no saben identificarlos muy bien o cuál va en cuál, que aquí dice Lulu letters y acá Lulu numbers, ask your mother for help. Pida la ayuda a mami, okay? So this is the third activity for today, Wednesday. I hope you like it, guys. And the hands-on activities are very fun for today. One is recycling material. Hay que reciclar el material en casa, la basura. Remember to always take care of our world and of our ecosystems. Acuérdense de cuidar nuestro ambiente y nuestro planeta. And that's why you're going to help mommy recycle. Okay, you can do it in different containers, en botes diferentes en casas, okay, o en bolsas diferentes de diferentes color, márquela. Y en uno pueden poner plastic, cosas de plástico, en otro aluminium, cosas de aluminio, y en otra paper o napkins o papel reciclado o periódico, okay. Ask your mother for help para que ella les explique muy bien el proceso de reciclado, ¿ok? Y eso va a ayudar mucho a cuidar nuestro planeta y a que esté menos sucio y menos contaminado, ¿ok? So we can take care always of our planet and our world. 
So guys, I hope you had really fun today in the activities with the videos of the Very Hungry Caterpillar and Igor the Inchworm. And please take care of yourselves. Remember to wash your hands and see you on Friday, guys. Bye.